and God took him. Sorry, I forgot the story. But this guy, I think he he came into the church as a, he is a chemical engineer. And then when you know when you get baptized, people give you books. The the book that came to him was Counsels to Diet and Food. <laughs> Imagine you are newly baptized. And then you get the book, Counsel to Diet and Food. But he was a chemical engineer. And he knows, he said, how come these guys know this? And Ellen G. White is not even grade, uh, grade 3 or something. But everything is correct. So he followed everything and he was very strong and God used him very well. Why? When you take God's messages seriously, even if it's very hard <laughs> for other people, then God will use you also. Okay. More stories. Okay. It says him, to whom God would make known what is the riches of His glory in the mystery among the Gentiles, which is in Christ, the hope of glory. Transformation of character is the testimony to the world of an indwelling Christ. You know what? Moses used to kill. Moses killed somebody in Egypt. Paul, a soul, killed many Christians. But when God changed them, wow, Moses helped save the whole Israel nation from Pharaoh, from Egypt, and Paul wrote almost half of the New Testament. You count, yeah? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Almost half of New Testament, God used Paul. Imagine, transformation of character is the testimony that the world in a dwelling Christ. The Spirit of God, see, Spirit, we are talking about Holy Spirit, produced new life in the soul, bringing the thoughts and desires into obedience. We used to be stupid, but uh, things we are in, in our mind. Now, obedience, to the will of Christ and the inward man is renewed in the image of God. Amen. There is hope. Only those who wait humbly <clears throat> upon God. You know why we have to be humble? Because we don't know what to do. We don't understand even our own mind. We don't understand ourselves. We are confused. Do we know the future? And our enemy is big. We cannot beat the enemy. So we have to be humble upon God and depend on God who watch for His guidance and grace in the Spirit given. The power of God awaits the power of God. It is very powerful. Awaits. It is waiting. The power of God is waiting for their demand and reception. So we are struggling here. And God's power is waiting to be poured upon us because, you know, the power of God awaits their demand. So when we ask for God's power and are ready to receive this promised blessing claimed by faith brings all I cannot ever emphasize the all all other blessings in its train so when we ask the Holy Spirit all of God's blessings parang train you know train it's like a train you know it has many many things in there it is given according to the riches of the grace how rich is God that's how he, he will send the Holy Spirit. And He is ready to supply every soul according to the capacity. Wow! It's not the riches of God that is the limit. It is our capacity to receive. That is the limit. That's why we have to die daily. Like reckon, I also, uh, likewise, reckon you also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive. If you want to kill yourself, this is the proper way. This is the proper way to commit suicide. You die daily, but don't kill yourself literally. You just kill your sin. Let God kill your sinful self. And be alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. <clears throat> okay. But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not risen. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of His death, we shall also be resurrected in the likeness. Wow. <clears throat> but you know what? There is glorification. When Jesus comes... Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall all not, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. If you cannot walk, when Jesus comes, you can walk. If malabo ang mata, when Jesus comes, dilinaw ang mata. And we shall all be changed in a twinkling of an eye. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. Wow. Kuya Jim Lumingkit is saying always, when Jesus comes, He will have hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but all of us will be bigger. You know what? Adam and Eve was 15 and 12 feet. That's why sometimes, sabi nila, Sir, my UFO. Sabi ko, palagay ko. I think, 
you know UFO? Uh, uh, they, no, they are alien, alien. They are wondering if there is alien is true. You know what? In my uh, opinion, we are the aliens. You know why? All of the other worlds who did not see, they are still 15 feet high and 12 feet low. Us, me, they, you, you think I'm big, but I'm only six. I'm only half of what it was used to be. So we are all small, yeah? When, when all the children of God come, we look like we are the aliens. But the, when Jesus comes, we shall all be changed. Yeah? Wow. wow. Amen. Don't worry. We will be macho and tall and beautiful and handsome. So don't worry now. <clears throat> okay. We shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and the mortal must put on immortality. So when this corrupt, incor uh, corruptible shall put her on incorruption, and the mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying it is written, death.